<laughs> no, 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 this is all sound Pass off the mic now.
Yeah, I think that all sounded Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Hi, guys. I'm Emily. I'm the floor ranger, and I have some essential housekeeping to share with you. So buckle in. Here we go. Uh, okay. Uh, while you're here with us at Hackney Empire, uh, whilst inside the theatre, please keep all your belongings with you at all times. Please don't block any of the aisles with your equipment or bag. So take a moment to reshuffle them under your seats. Thank you. Aisles must remain clear at all times. 
when moving around the theatre, take extra care when moving past cameras, cables and ramps, and you will particularly notice those at the back. Uh, the ropes and posts uh, have restricted areas for your safety and the safety of our crew, so please don't move them and please don't enter the restricted areas, thank you. There is press Wi-Fi for your use. Uh, here we go. Log on to press, use password, hackney123, or lowercase. Okay, good, got that. Uh, if we need to evacuate the building for any reason, um, the show will be stopped and you will be asked to leave the building immediately by your closest emergency exit, which I'll tell you about in a minute. Um, please follow the instructions of the theatre ushers. FYI, the exits are clearly identified by the green running men signs above the relevant exits. Your closest exit may not be the way you came into the theatre, so please do just take a moment to find your nearest exit. The, those people seated in front of me here uh, have um, four usable emergency exits. Three on your right, one at the front of the stage, two which are to the rear of the seating and one to your left at the rear of the room. Again, please take care when moving through the aisles to the side and the rear of the room where we have our cameras and cables. Staff and security will guide you to the doors and safely out of the building. On the circle level, your exits are to the right and left uh, sides of the seating. On the upper circle and gallery levels, your exits are to the rear of the seating on the left and right. Make your way as calmly as possible to your nearest exit. Follow the directions of the Hackney Empire staff and security who will assist you outside the venue. Uh, should anybody need any medical assistance during the show, please alert one of the Hackney Empire staff who are in your seating area or a member of their team at the exit doors who can alert our medical staff who are here with us today. When leaving the theatre, <laughs> will be finished Leon, I promise. Uh, please be aware that the main road directly, directly outside uh, can get extremely busy and there is no stopping for vehicles at any time. We kindly request that you do not loiter directly outside the theatre, politely talk on. And finally, if we could please remind everybody here in the theatre to switch your phones to silent. If you could just take a moment to do that, we'd be really, really grateful. I'm sorry I couldn't get my uh, gag writer with me today. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Just in case it rolls. Uh, I'm just
the side of you, mate.
Chance just for the bit where they're walking up, you can just stay as low as you can. So After that, it's fine, just yeah. so I can shoot over you. That. That, that yeah, that would be perfect. Yeah, yeah no just so I can get a bit of them walking up. No Guys, 
Hello, hello, hello. Oh, come on. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon and welcome to the Hackney Empire here in London. My name is Matt Everett and I'm your MC for today's very special event. So thank you all for coming along. It's also my job to confirm that very shortly we will be welcoming some very special people onto this stage for an exclusive announcement which will be streamed worldwide via YouTube. So, we're gathered here today in this, one of London's most famous venues, the Hackney Empire, built back in 1901. It first opened as a music hall, and over the years this stage has witnessed performances by the likes of Charlie Chaplin, Judy Garland, Louis Armstrong and Duke Ellington. But there's one band who hasn't stepped on this stage until today. And they will be here in conversation to reveal all. So, where do we start? Formed six decades ago. They are one of the best-selling and most successful bands the world has ever seen. They have written and recorded classic song after classic song. Songs that came to define their time and yet become utterly timeless. They also continue to smash box office records with a series of global sellout shows. And they remain to this day a fearsome live act, filling and thrilling huge audiences all over the world. There is no one like them. The riffs, the lips, the voice, the moves, the circus, the stories, the survivors. Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, Ronnie Wood, the Rolling Stones. Right, so now to date, they've released 23 studio albums, but they haven't released a studio album of original material since a bigger bang 18 years ago to this very day. But is all that going to change? Well, this is where the world finds out. So let's update ourselves on how we got to where we are today. It may have been a while since their last studio album featuring original music was released, but there's been new music since, like the brilliant Doom and Gloom, and the track Living in a Ghost Town just three years ago. Living in a Ghost Town! <laughs> 2016 also saw the release of the chart-topping and Grammy award-winning album Blue and Lonesome, which brought together some of the band's favorite beloved blues tracks. So, as you will know, and as you'll know if you can look around at this event, whenever the Stones do anything, it's a big deal. In fact, all it takes is a small advert to appear in the Hackney Gazette to cause headlines all over the world. Admittedly, that ad appeared last month with several references to Rolling Stones songs and it teased a new possible album title. There was also the new Hackney Diamonds website, a phone number and a countdown clock, all of which added to the fevered speculation. Then, somewhat less subtly, last week the Rolling Stones logo was projected onto some of the most famous landmarks in London, Paris and even on the Chrysler Building in New York. So, that's the story so far. The stage is set, the audience is ready. Are you ready? <laughs> and the support band, kind of me, has finished. <laughs> and all anybody wants is the headliner. But first, coming up shortly, we will be, we will be welcoming to the stage our host for today, all the way from New York, Mr. Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> And before I go, I do want to say it's, uh, it's an honour to be here. As I said, when the Rolling Stones do anything, it's a big deal and it's always special. So please, enjoy the afternoon.
My name is Jimmy Fallon, and someone's phone is ringing already. Oh, my God. Get out. Figure it out, folks. Put it on silent. Uh, guys, uh, well, look at us. We're here at the iconic Hackney Empire Theater in East London. We are live around the world. Yes! Thank you all for tuning in. We're here for one reason. Since the 1960s, one band has blazed a trail like no other, selling over 250 million albums across six decades, leaving an indelible mark on the musical landscape. They have come to define the very essence of popular culture, the ultimate rock and roll band. Don't you agree? Yeah, exactly. I... I, like so many others, have followed this band throughout my entire life, buying their records, watching their live shows, doing anything I can do to even be the tiniest bit as cool as them. They are my absolute favorites, and they're here with us today. Please welcome Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, and Ronnie Wood, the Rolling Stones. We are live around the world. This is global. A lot. This is very important. A lot of people are watching this. Very this early in Los Angeles. <laughs> yes, very early in Los Angeles. I, well, I have one question. Though. What, what is this about? What is this for? Why are we here? Well, we're here. I feel like I want to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> we're here. Uh, yeah. But we're here to present our new single, which is called Angry, and the video of it, which you'll see later. And... Anger is the first single from our new album called Hackney Diamonds, which is why we're in Hackney, and uh, which comes out in October the 20th. That's right. So that's why we're here. Hackney. <laughs> new single, Angry. Uh, I will say, right after this Q&A, we'll be showing you the, uh, the video, uh, world premiere of the, of the video, with someone really cool that you all know is in the video. And the album comes out October 20th. Hackney Diamonds. What, what, is, what does that mean? What does that mean to you, Keith? Anything? What is Hackney Diamonds? It got called Hackney Diamonds because we, I think we were between... We were flinging ideas around for titles and we went from hit and run, smash and grab, and somehow between that... I like those. ..we came up with Hackney Diamonds, which is like a variation of the both. And also, it's a London band, you know, and yeah. we thought that was... <laughs> Uh, this, this, but this Hackney Diamonds, isn't it like a, 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 a type of uh, slang? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, like, oh, yeah. Uh, it's like when you get your windscreen broken uh, on Saturday night in Hackney, all round. <laughs> and, uh, and all the bits go on the street. Yeah, a shattered yeah. windscreen. That's, that's called Hackney Diamonds. smash and grab. That's Hackney Diamonds. <laughs> that's Hackney Diamonds, right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ronnie, uh, how long did it take to, to make this album? We did it pretty quick. Actually, there were lots of, of ideas floating about, and we gathered them all together just before Christmas last year and made a go of it, didn't we? Yeah, we yeah, did. We cut them all but, I mean, very quickly. It's been quickly. 18 years since you yeah, made well, it. We've been very yeah, lazy. There was, there was a blitz on it. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, doesn't sound very quick off. at all. We, we, we have done something where we've okay. been on the road most of the time. But yeah. We, we, no, we were, we were, maybe we were a bit too kind of like lazy, and then suddenly we said, why don't we go? We go. Let's get, let's put a deadline, let's make a record and put a deadline. So Keith and I and Ronnie had this chat and we said, OK, we'll make this record Christmas and we're going to finish it by Valentine's Day. So we made two albums. So, <laughs> so, yeah, exactly, yeah. So we, we, we went into the studio, reg, uh, in, like Ronnie said, uh, in December, and we cut 23 tracks and very quickly and finished them off in January and mixed them in February. Yeah. Something like that. You it? started in, yeah. in about right. That's about right. Yeah, about right. Yeah. Did you go to with Keith in Jamaica? I heard rumors we, of that. Where we, you started in Jamaica? We we started. We wrote "Angry." Actually, and Mick had it the thing ready to go, but it's where we kind of put the track together, and um, along with many others. But uh, it, it was the first one to stick out and made the boom. Yeah, you we know. started out in we were Keith and I and. Uh, Steve. And, and Steve and Matt went to Jamaica just to, we said, we're going to mess about in the studio. And we went there and we started kicking ideas around. Then we went to New York and Ronnie joined us. And yeah. then after that, we 
got a producer called Andy Watt, who kicked us up the arse. Yeah, And referee. then we went to Los Angeles and cut the tracks like I told you. Uh, and did, uh, um, uh, it must feel different not having Charlie Watts uh, uh, in, in the studio with you playing. Uh, uh, what was that like? Um, it's all, you know, it's ever since Charlie's gone, it's different, of course. Yeah. You know, I mean, he's it's number four. He's missing, he's up there. Yeah, I did see a lot of number fours uh, around yeah, here. Yeah. Of course he's missed, I mean, incredibly. Yeah. But uh, thanks to Charlie Watts also, we have Steve Jordan, who was Charlie's recommendation for if anything should happen to him, Steve Jordan's your man. He picked yeah. Steve Jordan. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, just out of way, way, way back. But, um, and, and also, you know, he's been a friend of ours. I've worked with Steve. So it was a kind of natural progression. You know, it would have been a lot harder without Charlie's blessing on yeah. that, you know. But at the same time, it's a hard thing, you know. Did you get to do any tracks with him on the album? With Charlie? Yeah. Yeah, so Couple there, there's, right? there's 12 tracks on the album and so 10, uh, uh, well, I think actually it's not true because <laughs> it's not on one. But most of it is Steve, but two are tracks we recorded in 2019 with Charlie. And so we... Uh, we, we used two of the tracks that we recorded with Charlie before. Yeah, Man Man by the Sword and Mess It Up. Yeah. Those are the two tracks. Yeah. And also I heard a rumor of Bill. And yes, Bill, and we asked Bill to come <laughs> into the studio. Bill was creeping. Did he get? <laughs> yeah. 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 Live by the Bill. Sword. And, yeah. Bill, and Bill yeah. came in and did one track, so we had the original Rolling Stones were in the sections, is on one track. Wow, that's so funny. But most of it's new, but this is like, from 2019. Yeah. Uh, the, the first song is, is Angry. Is Angry a theme of the album? Is that... Well, we, yeah, Keith and I thought the theme yeah. of the album yes. should be... You're getting ang angry as I'm saying Every this. track should be a as angry I, yeah, theme. You're getting... You're, you're like, sitting on the edge of getting angry. I don't want to see you getting... Disgust. Yeah, uh, and anger and disgust. That's the concept. Yeah, yeah. so every song is angry. When we... Yeah. Yeah. Every so song is angry. Thing, is every track name angry? Not every track <laughs> named Angry could be... No, no, I think no, that's no. stupid. It's stupid, yeah, that's but, stupid but, but, but also, no one's done it yet, so why not no, do it? No, it's an original idea, but then we sort of... <laughs> we, we... Nobody can be angry that long. <laughs> <laughs> you got to meet my uh, in-laws, yeah. So, <laughs> so then we had a second yeah. idea, which was not to make it about Angry every oh. track, Ah. But to make them a bit more eclectic and have a few love songs, and ballads, and country kind of things. Ah. So we've got a mixture. So I think the last time I saw the three of you, you played Hyde Park here in London. And it was amazing. And Hyde Park, if you've never seen this show, it's beautiful. It's in the park and it starts around 7 o'clock. The sun is out and then the sun goes down and out. everyone's out by 10 o'clock. It's very uh, British rules. Everyone out. Everyone. Go, 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 go. Everyone out. Never happened. Go, go, go. Uh, and so it was a great show. And I talked to you the next day. I talked to Mick. And I said, uh, uh, what did you think of the show? I thought it was great. How would you like it? And you go, well, you know, we're not really a daytime band. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that is so funny. It was like Sympathy for the Devil at 8 o'clock. It... <laughs> You don't want to paint it black while not you're really, eating not really. a sandwich with your kids. No, not really. Yeah, but do you think of yourself as a nighttime band, yeah? It usually is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this album, this album can be played at any time of any the day. Any time of the day, any part of the world you want, any time of the yeah. day. Hackney Diamonds, Hackney Diamonds, track three can be played at, you know. Or track four, you could play track Don't four. you dare. No, Don't you, you dare. You can play track four. Okay. Five and six. Oh, five <laughs> and six as well. It's already tomorrow in Australia. <laughs> tomorrow, they've already listened to the album. You're right. That's great. Uh, Keith, I always think of this story with you. Uh, when you were on my show, and thank you for doing my show, uh, no uh, problem. We were backstage, and um, you were smoking, and uh, <laughs> you're not allowed to smoke uh, in, a, in a studio, and these alarms went off, and a fire marshal, I, I didn't even know we had a fire marshal, a fire marshal came down to the studio and said, Mr. Richard, you, you know, you shouldn't smoke, and you go, I know it's bad for my health. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. And that was, at the time, it was true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you still smoke? No, man. Right after that, I gave it up. There you go. <laughs> you owe me. You owe me. Uh, uh, this is the 24th studio album. 
24th yes. for you guys. Uh, can you remember the press conference for the first? Yeah, I remember the press conference. So Keith and I were in, uh, in a pub in Denmark Street, and <laughs> we had the album, and there were two journalists, one from the enemy and one from the melody maker. We bought them a pint of beer. We said, here's our album. That's it. Have a listen. Yeah. And then we went out. That was it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The press conference, yeah. A little different than what's happening. Well, there's right? no photos, nothing. Nothing, no. But it sold well. Yeah, how were the, how were the reviews? Oh, the reviews were mixed, but it sold well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that's good. Uh, when, uh, uh, when a singer wants to make a record, uh, they want to make a record. You want to, you want to get the band while they're hot. When the singer wants to make a record, you record him. <laughs> because you never know you, you the might next go. time you're going to get it. So when Nick <laughs> said to me, I've got some time, I want to make a record, I, um, I put all the <laughs> bullets underneath and said, well, um, let's go. Yeah. Because, well, that's good to know, isn't it? You know, I saw what I I've got to do. I haven't told you that before. No, you, you, know, you shouldn't have told me now. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it's good yeah. to know. That's all I've got to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you Ronnie, you're always, you're always playing. I just saw you recently playing with Van Morrison or something. Do you, do you just jump up and play with bands that you love? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I keep my chops together between gigs. And uh, it's, you've got to keep your fingers moving when you get yeah. to our age. Yeah. <laughs> keep everything moving. <laughs> this is interesting. Do you want to elaborate on that? He's well, all you get older, you'll realize what I mean. You're going down. Ah, keep everything moving. Shake it out. Shake it out. Uh, can I go through the, uh, the track list here? And just yeah. uh, right now, I think fans would like to know the track list. First song is Angry. Yes. Yes, does, does that bring any uh, emotion to you? Ang anger, that brings me. <laughs> <laughs> anger. It's a bad question, sorry. Oh, yeah. Got a good riff. Yeah, thank I you. I was uh, thinking about the words. I was uh, just thinking, it's a damn funky riff. Yeah, it is a good riff. It's a, it's a good riff. Thank uh, you. Get, get close. Yes. <laughs> Depending on you. Yeah. That's when you Moving. always want to rely on someone and they let you down. Yeah. That one's not about me, is no, it? No, it's not. No, you're here. Yeah. You've come all the way from New York. Yeah, that's right. Uh, mess it up is about you. <laughs> <laughs> bite my head off. Uh, bite, bite my head off. That's like when uh, your girlfriend gets really mad with you and you say, will you please stop talking yeah, don't bite. at me, darling? Yes. It's a it, rude way of saying that. Yeah, <laughs> it is a rude way of saying it. Whole wide world. Is that what it's about? Yeah, it's what it's <laughs> about. <laughs> Yeah. Here we are, let's sink in. Uh, funky riff, whole wide world. Really funky. Really. Uh, dreamy skies. That's dreamy skies, dreamy. On, what's it about? Well, it's Mick being stranded, I oh, think, okay. trying to get away from it all, oh, awesome. right? He says, I want to get away from it all and listen to a bit of old Hank Williams and a oh, bit of... Yeah, but it never happens, Dumb though. honky tonk. <laughs> it just never happened. Well, it happened in lockdown. Yeah, that's That was right. enough. That was enough of the, uh, <laughs> mess, it, mess it up. That's like, your song. That's my that's song. song. <laughs> that's about me. Oh, that's yeah, thank you. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Uh, Live by the Sword. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Charlie's on that. Yeah, and he's on Bill. that. That's very, it's kind yeah. of slightly retro. Uh, driving me too hard. Is that Please about? tell you what that's about. Yeah, I can <laughs> show you what anything's about. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, no, it's, it's got a lovely riff. It? It's yeah, got yeah. a melting pot <laughs> melody. And, uh, um, <laughs> Yeah. There it is. There you go. Uh, tell me straight. There tell me, go. well, I can uh, tell you straight that I have no idea what it's about. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good riff. It's a good riff, too. Keith, Keith sings that one. He, should, but he, he sings it. He tried to steal it, so I said, it must be good. I'll do it. <laughs> uh, sweet Sound of Heaven, uh, which I got to hear. It's unbelievable when you hear some of these songs. It's uh, a, it, that's a, more like a Stevie gospel, Wonder. That's a really gospel song. It's I like mean, the guessing song. on this you'll get to, but it is insane. Gospel. Uh, kind of gospel. And Rolling Stone no, Blues. Is, but, I mean, you've never been to church in your life. <laughs> I did once. I did go to church. You're completely wrong. What's I went it to like? Uh, it's a big building normally <laughs> with arches it's got and things like that. <laughs> Did it burn down as soon as you walked in? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, like. Good evening, message. everyone. Hello, I'm going to do the sermon today. All right, here we go. <laughs> Who's getting the communion? Who's doing it? Right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That's <laughs> not how I speak. <laughs> <laughs> I, w I wasn't doing you, I was doing uh, Ronnie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Keith, you said that uh, in the past that the Holy Grail is making records. Uh, do you guys still love being in the studio together? Was it fun? Yeah, it is fun. It's fun. It is where a band can come together and have it. Playing live is the other Holy Grail, you know, but uh, to, to record is where the guys can get together and pass around ideas without any interference. And, uh, you know, and when it works, it's great. And, uh, you know, there's some unholy grails too, believe me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and we were it, saying... Yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's a great place for, for a band, you know, to work it all out. And, and do you think about the fans when you make the songs about how they would react to it? I don't know. Do we think about no, you know, what think, other people so. would think about it? I, I no, we just cross our fingers and hope. hope. Yeah. I think you got. I think you, you. When you go in and you, you got to like get please yourselves. You know what I mean. You don't think about pleasing. You just got. It's playing for yourselves first. You don't think about. Yeah. Later on, you might think, oh, people might like this, or maybe they won't like this. Yeah. And yeah. also, it's like uh, because uh, after so long, you say, but usually, if we like it. You know, the crowd will like it. Uh, it travels. With like everybody. if you do a live show you and you know, see someone yeah. lip syncing I mean, the song, it could be wrong. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, Lady Gaga sings really sweet on, yeah, sweet sound of heaven. <laughs> I mean, he's giving out some some gems right here. Yeah, so <laughs> Lady Gaga, yeah, is oh, unbelievable. Yeah, by yeah. the way, yeah, she is gorgeous. Uh, speaking of uh, fans, uh, we have some questions from fans from around the world. Uh, Lou asks, do you have an all-time favorite Stones track. This is for Lou. Lou. Lou? No, Lou, they're not here. We actually had them Lou not. Lou has no, no. asked the most impossible we question. No, I, 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 I don't Lou. have an all-time favorite Stones track at all. No, no, no this, Lou has asked the, the most the, the, impossible question No, the answer is no, Lou, I don't. In the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lou, you idiot! <laughs> Why would that be the first question you asked? <laughs> you fool! <laughs> But I will throw Lou a Gimme Shelter or a Jumping Jack Flash just for me personally to ah, play and I'll there we go. them all night, you know. Yeah, I like that. Off the hook. What's that one? I never heard of that one. Lou. Sitting in my bedroom late last night. Very early, John. Early John. Got into bed and turned out the lights. I tried to call my baby on the telephone. Is out of the hook. I got the hook. Thank you. My one man show starts. No, 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 no. It's time. I'll be. I'll sit right back. I'll be good. I'll be good. Um, <laughs> sit him back down. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, Maria from Argentina says, "Did you ever see a fan in the audience and think?" I could marry that person. <laughs> uh, I did see people getting married in the audience. Yes, and I did. I, I never saw wait, anyone wait, I Ronnie wanted did? To, to marry, but I saw people getting married. <laughs> Ronnie actually married someone. Yeah. You did? In my dreams, baby. Oh, my gosh. Ridiculous. <laughs> like, come on. But you never thought, like, maybe I'm, I'm yeah, having a connection. I could marry them all, man. <laughs> <laughs> Polygamy lives. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm a Mormon. Uh, uh, Oliver in France says, Ronnie, I saw you played with Van Morrison the other night. How come you play with other bands? Well, I kind of just said it Okay. Too. Well, Ronnie. he plays Skiffle. He's got a new Skiffle album, which is brilliant. And that's where <laughs> I came in the door, you know. Yeah. Skiffle uh, now. So it's easy. All right. Uh, this is from Jerry in South Wales. Uh, Jer this is a great question. He said, who's the best at throwing darts? We're all terrible. <laughs> this you play darts? Oh, yeah. no. No. Do you play darts? There is a well, dart. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. There is a dartboard in the ship pub round the backstage. There is one, but yeah. Outside the backstage there's a pub called the ship. Yeah, we're down in, Wardle Street. We had a pint right, there, is, there is a dartboard, so afterwards we should see. We could let you know the results later. We, we will yeah, let yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. know the result of that. Still there at three o'clock in the morning trying to hit the <laughs> <laughs> Brando in California says Keith, <laughs> Keith and Mick, you've been together longer than me and my wife. What's the secret to a happy marriage? <laughs> Why don't they tell us? <laughs> <coughs> Not speaking too often. Yeah. <laughs> How to say shut up politely. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 
well, Hackney Diamonds, uh, this is it. This is, uh, you, you've done something that no one's done. But uh, wait 18 years to do an album. <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean, seriously, there is no band like you uh, ever. And there's no one to compare you. That's the point. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what you're doing is the Wild Wild West. I mean, who knew that you're going to, a band could come out and do a brand new, fresh album, you know, uh, it, what decade is this? The 2020s? I mean, I don't know. You in the 60s? I don't great. know. But I, I must tell you something. I got, don't want to be big-headed, but I, we wouldn't have put this album out if we hadn't really liked it. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we didn't want to make just any record and put it out. So we wanted to make a record. We, before we went in, we all said we've got to make a record that we really love ourselves. I mean, other people may like it. Other people may not. But mm. we 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 must say that we are quite. Pleased with it. I'm not saying we're big headed about it, but we're pleased with it. So I'll drink to that. And we hope you all like it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're about to. Uh, we're going to clear the stage. We're going to show the video and uh, the video premiere right now of their off their brand new album, Hackney Diamonds. It is out October 20th, ladies and gentlemen. The Rolling Stones. Thank you. Nick. Fantastic. Are you guys ready to see the world premiere of Angry? Yeah. Uh, I, uh, every video that the Rolling Stones make, uh, there's always like the hottest Hollywood actor or actress in the video, and that remains uh, uh, again. They did it again. In this video, they have the great Sydney Sweeney in the video. Yeah. Sydney. <laughs> Sydney is with us tonight. Sydney, uh, it's so great to see you. It's good to see you. Uh, what, what, what goes through your brain when you get asked to do a Rolling Stones video? Oh, gosh. I mean, I freaked out, called my family, and brought my mom. Don't know. Hey, hi, yeah. Mom. Hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> you got to be very proud of your daughter. Very proud. Uh, uh, and you, have you done a video before? Or? I have. You have, yeah, but nothing like nothing this. Nothing like this. No, no, no. And, Mom, are you a Stones fan? Of course. Yeah, of course. Do you have a favorite era? Lifetime of music. Do you ever think your daughter will be in the video? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's, yeah. Because uh, you've done uh, White Lotus, you've done Euphoria, the bigger, th I think this is like the biggest thing. This is the biggest thing ever. Ever. That ever. you could ever do, yeah. And did you hear the song and did you know it was going to be the first single? I didn't know it was going to be the first single, but I loved the song when I heard it. Yeah. It's been stuck in my head. It's stuck in your head. Yeah. It's really, really good. It's fantastic. Uh, I want to show everybody. We're going to be playing this in a few minutes. Uh, so uh, get ready for this. This is the premiere of Angry from the Rolling Stones and Sydney Sweeney. Enjoy. <laughs>
Yes! Great job! Mom, great job. I want to thank you all for being here. I want to thank uh, Universal. Uh, obviously, I want to thank uh, Hackney Empire. What a beautiful theater. Oh, my gosh. And, and it is a great pub next door, by the way, called uh, The Ship. Uh, Ship Inn. I went there yesterday with Mick. We had a pint. And they do have a dartboard. That's what uh, I was like. Oh, I saw that question. I go, oh, maybe they play darts. Uh, turns out they don't. Um, <laughs> but you never know. Uh, I, I, I enjoyed hearing all the questions from everybody. Thank you all for tuning in and watching from around the world. And uh, don't forget the album Hackney Diamonds is out on October 20th. Good night, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>